This video compares the Holiday Coral Pea Steaks to the competition. All right, this video does not explain the overall functioning of the product, just the differences between these two kinds of products. So let's get started. First of all, backbone, or maybe less there of the backbone. So let's lay this product, which is similar to this product. So the Holiday Coral product on the bottom, you can see it has a three quarter inch width difference. So they're still the same size at the bottom, but you can see that the additional material is left in the stake so that you would have more strength. And so you'll also see that it's nice, strong length going all the way down the stake. Now, if you look at the competition, you'll notice a difference. There's a notch right in the back. Now, that's great, but the problem is, is that interrupts the backbone and reduces the strength of the stake. Now, this product from Holiday Coral has the stake in the front so that you can have that uninterrupted length. Also, that means that the stake is going through the back portion where your strength is located. So this is a stronger product in most uses. Now, we also have a much larger hole. So for example, if you flip this around, you'll notice that this opening here, where you're going to be hitting your stake with the nail, I mean the hammer, is much larger. So you're much less likely to hit anything along the way. All right, some other differences. We have little feet down here. These are designed for soil, which is typically where these are used. Now, if you do not have them in soil or have them in an alternative mounting solution, such as concrete, asphalt, or sand, uh, you can remove these by simply cutting them off. This helps prevent torsional twisting of the product. It just adds a little extra stability to the product when it's mounted on the ground. All right, now, another big difference the direction of those slots. Now, it should be pretty obvious that these are on the ground, and if they're on the ground, the eyeballs seeing them need to look directly at the lights. Lights on pixels are always brightest when viewed straight 90 degrees to the surface of this. So, we need those eyeballs looking directly at them. Well, if this is on the ground, unless your audience is viewing them directly on the ground a few feet off, you probably want them pointing slightly up. And you can see that's the case here. These are all pointing up at a slight angle that allows better, brighter viewing by the viewing audience. All right. Now, you may also notice that when you compare these two products together, that um, they have more holes in them or more slots, I should say. And this allows you to uh, have more options. So if you want to buy one stake and then move the pixels along as you're moving further to the back of the display, or you want to buy one stake and then put the five pixels up at the top, you can do that. Or if you want to put some as you go again down the stake, you can then move them around. Or maybe you want them spaced out more. So you could put a pixel skip pixel skip, pixel skip, pixel skip, and so on. So it gives you more flexibility in the way that you're building it instead of assuming that you want just six, or five for that matter. Now, you'll also notice that there's some holes punched in here. Now on the front side, you will see holes here for holding in pixels. Now, while typically this isn't necessary, normally the pixels will stay in just fine by themselves. If you have some wonky pixels or unusual pixels or maybe a unique circumstance, you can use zip ties to zip tie that pixel in there to provide a little extra strength to that. Now they're designed uh, because the, the spacing doesn't really allow for, you know, uh, uh, one hole. You've got to have two holes on each side here. And so even on that, they have two holes here. But we have reduced the number of holes to make it stronger by putting one hole and you can run one zip tie through uh, one hole and then another zip tie through the same hole. All right, now you'll also notice that there's a lot more holes in the back. What's that about? Well, the competition has holes here and here and here, three pairs on the larger stake and two pairs on the smaller stake. Now, that is typically used for mounting with rebar or EMT pipe. Now, you may want to do that and you may want to have more strength. So in this particular design, you can have as many zip ties in there as you feel 
sufficiently strong enough to hold it in place. Now, those holes also provide an additional benefit. We know that some people don't like their wires all kind of wonky and sticking out and they want them all nice and beautiful and they're very particular about the way they look. And so with this product, you can zip tie those down. So depending upon your spacing and depending upon your pixel wire length, simply just take the wire and put a zip tie through here and then that'll allow you to zip tie this nice and flush so you get a really good clean look. So instead of all those sticking out, you can get those to lay down perfectly flat. It also makes them a little easier to store. And still, you can use the back side to zip tie through those same holes for mounting to PVC uh, EMT pipe or rebar. All right. Um, another design difference here is that uh, this product is trying to kill you. It really is. It's got sharp edges right here, and if you're pushing these pixels in at this r angle right here, you'll know if you've done pixels for a while, these are pretty sharp, and they don't give, and your fingers will suffer from that. Hall Decoro, simply just round the corners off so you just can't hurt yourself there. You'll save yourself a lot of pain and struggle. All right, now another key difference here is the angle of those pixels. So you can see that these pixel angles are drastically different. So this is horizontal. Now that would be great if your audience is approximately one to three feet tall. Now we're guessing that the vast majority of your audience may be a little taller than that, or maybe in a car up in the air and may be wanting to view the pixels as bright as possible at their viewing angle. <clears throat> and because all pixel nodes are brightest when viewed directly on instead of off angle, by shifting them and pointing them directly to the eyeballs of your viewer, you have a better, brighter product than something that is going purely horizontal. All right. So, that concludes the differences between the Holiday Coro Slim Steak and the competition. All that, usually the next day shipping, and usually cheaper. <laughs>